Welcome back to another episode of the You Know The Vibras podcast. This is your boy, Michael Carrasco. As always, I'm with my boy, the one and only Juan De Don. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What up? What up, man? How you been? I'm great, bro. I'm great, man. Had a... uh had a interesting weekend man I, I, like i said uh for those in the last episode my birthday was this past weekend um uh my birthday's on august 7th mm-hmm. uh happy belated yes sir yes sir um went to chicago for the weekend all right uh, to visit the the big bro and he uh gave me a tour of chicago um i want to take this time in the beginning of the episode to uh yeah to appreciate chicago Okay, okay. Uh, the national, the, what is the word? National media, whatever the word that you call it? Yeah, Or national, media in general, news yeah. in general. Um, They bash Chicago or, or paint Chicago in a bad way to make it seem like it's full of crime 24-7, mm-hmm. the whole, like, the whole city. But mm-hmm. it's not really like that, at least the parts I went to. I mean, because, of course, you know, there's parts that are going to be bad and, um... You know, that's everywhere in every state, city, whatever. 100%. Um, but like I said, Chicago, man, like I was very, very impressed. The ambiance is, is top tier. The um, views, um, the downtown is f- top notch. Like I literally and a lot of people have told me this, but when they when they told me I didn't believe it. But Chicago and shout out to my people in New York, whatever, NYC. But Chicago, I'd say, is a cleaner and more like like uh more like high class or whatever version of New York, mm-hmm. like cotizado, like like it's clean. The people are like clean. <laughs> like I don't know how to explain it. Like the the vibes is good. Like no negativity. At least from what I've seen, no negativity. Like everybody, you know, you know, if there's groups of people, nobody like you know tries to like right to like over you know overdo you know compared right. to other groups. Like just like everybody's there to have a good time. Everybody's there, you know. You know, enjoying their their time there, but like I just like it's just clean, bro. Compared to New York, when I go to New York, you see trash everywhere, mm-hmm. people with nasty attitudes. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. I, 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 me personally, I put it over top of New York, and a, a lot of people probably look at me like I'm crazy, but until you go there, you are gonna know what I mean. So, right, if you right. if you haven't been to Chicago, I definitely recommend visiting Chicago. Um, like I said, shout out to my people in NYC. There's beautiful spots in NYC, but. The the most of most of it is is you know, you know dirty like because that's not that's not because the people this is the city doesn't take care of the um of the city. <laughs> I would say they don't focus on the right thing. You know what I mean? So, but like I said, it's just and then like the the it's such a big Chicago is such a big city, but you don't really see the congestion if that makes sense. Like everything is co- like controlled. Okay. Like people respect the like laws, like mm-hmm. driving and shit, like. You know what I'm saying? There's parking. It's just like a more organized New York. That's literally what I want to say. It's like okay. a more organized yeah. and, and Hollywood, I guess, New York. Gosh, gosh. Yeah. But I had a great time, man. Met a lot of good people out there. Um, my, my, the day of my birthday, I got there on Saturday. Um, We just did some tourist vibes and then went to a little kickback. And then okay. uh, I think I went to a, a little Dominican club, too. But then That's my birthday... Up. It was a Dominican festival. Um, it was raining that day, but we went to the Dominican festival. Got to see some, um, a couple of Dominican icons, you know, like Tulele, um, a uh, big merenguero. But he he's always been, um, he's been known for like his charisma and creating like weird words on music, you know, like na 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 na, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> so that's Tulila. And then uh Joy Veras was there. Then there was a couple like low key up and coming artists there as well. But um it was great, man. It was a great time. Uh wish I could have been there longer. But um I'll be back there soon. Uh but yeah Chicago was great. And then outside of that, uh yesterday I when I came back should have went to sleep, but right. <laughs> uh, we always say that. Yeah, but um, I don't know. Man, I was very intrigued, like, cause my when my birthday. So when I left on August six to Chicago, that's when the Bad Bunny movie dropped, um, mm-hmm. Bullet Train. But it's not really. I'll talk about. It. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not gonna spoil it. But uh, I went right. to watch that movie yesterday, and I say the Bad Bunny movie, but it's not necessarily the Bad Bunny movie. He's just like one of the bigger figures in the movie. Um, Brad Pitt is the the um. I would have called it uh, 
Like he's the main guy. The main character. Yeah, the main character. But it's a great I think it was a great movie. It's definitely interesting to say the least. Like it's a lot of like plot twists throughout the whole thing. Like <laughs> okay. and they mix it with a little anime here and there. Like you'll see if you ever watch it. Gotcha, uh, gotcha. But there, there's a lot of big, big, big figures in the movie that aren't like announced at all. Oh. Like a lot. Like some of the top like actors in like the world. Man, I'm gonna have to go watch it today, then. Yeah, they they literally come out like um and have like uh what's that word like, they like have a little cutscene or whatever. Like a little uh like an introduction kind of. Like throughout the movie, you see like these big like f like uh you see like these big actors, but like they will have like a quick a quick scene and then it will go to continue. Like it gotcha. will just like show you like that they're there and then oh like a cutscene yeah, yeah it's yeah, a cutscene cut scene. and they'll yeah. have like a quick like minute you know little part and then they will keep the movie going the good thing about the movie is and i would say this it's obviously you know it's surrounded by the bullet train it's a train um and it's the whole movie's on the train but no, it, it doesn't seem like it's like it's just so many things going on that you didn't even realize that it all happened on the train you'll see oh, if yeah. you ever get to watch i definitely recommend bullet train uh also talking about bad bunny he he actually impressed me um, in the movie, I would say, uh, don't expect the Puerto Rican Bad Bunny. He he was playing like a Mexican, um, <laughs> a Mexican uh, character. Right. They, his name was El Lobo, I think. They El called Lobo, him Lobo. Yeah. yeah, I remember uh, that. From so the, yeah, from so Bad Bunny, he was actually it was, it was pretty good. He he impressed me, man. He he looked like he's been man, acting for a long time. So that man's resume just keep growing. It keeps bigger, going. So shout bigger. out to Bad Bunny, man. He's doing great things. Yeah. Uh, wrestling, acting, acting. You know what I'm saying? Like know, so music. yeah, music. So many things he does. Like that's that's what's up. So. If you guys haven't watched it, I definitely recommend watching it. It's a long movie, though. It's like two hours and some change, but it was good. It's all right. So once it it's good, good, the two hours, so it's worth it. But, yeah, that was my weekend, man. Finally had something outside of work that yeah, I Yeah, no, do. that's it's always good, man. Yeah. Uh, like, because for me, that's what it was. It was just work. Saturday, I had, like, a 13-hour shift. Mm -hmm. Sunday, I had to go early. Yesterday, I had to go early. I mean, had dinner with the family. You know, that was good. Uh, but outside of that, man, I just been work, work, work. Uh, so I'm glad. I'm glad you mm -hmm. you got to have some fun and do some things right. outside Dang, of I, work. I think, I think I'm not gonna be allowed back in NY, but NYC, bro. Yo, I don't know, man. I, I don't mean, know. It's, you, bro, you, you guys. If, if you guys ever visit Chicago, you understand what I'm saying. Cause I've been in New York a lot of times. Right, right. But, uh, it's, yeah, it's you guys definitely. You say we well, say say a whole different vibes for sure, right? Yeah, way different vibes, man. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. Feel that. So, uh, yeah, don't cancel Wanda Don. <laughs> like, man. Shout out to my people in New York, man. Yeah. Bro. Yeah, bro. It's just different, bro. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Twitch is soon. That's what I would say. Yeah. 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 But let's keep going, man. Yeah, let's go. Uh, so, today we got we got some little different little. Uh, so, we wanted to have you guys get to know us uh, a little better. So, today's episode is called getting to know that you know the vibras uh how it's going to work we pretty much have like it's going to be sort of an interview style mm -hmm. where we're going to be asking some questions uh we're going to answer them go ahead i totally forgot one more thing that i didn't even tell oh, you bro i didn't even ahead. tell you one thing um uh so in chicago this is another thing this is crazy with the podcast at, at the festival uh this girl had came up to me and was like do you do podcasts i seen you on tiktok i'm like what that's crazy. Yeah, so I'm like, nah, that's, that's crazy. That. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah I do. I, I kind of like, I had the, my uh, inner, like, bitch, I'll yell at the woman. Like, yeah, that's me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you want my autograph? Yeah, like, what's the word? <laughs> Where you want it? Nah, but nah, that's dope. That's dope, man. It keeps growing, man. And um, yeah, my brother tells me all the time that, that uh, people tell him about the podcast over there. And they think that it's him. I don't know why people think that we look alike. I don't think. I mean, you alike. guys like have some similar resemblances, and I feel like we should put a picture right here. No, 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 can can compare. But I mean, you guys have like as siblings. You know, siblings have some resemblances, but you guys don't really look alike. Yeah, I'm like, you bro, we don't really look anything don't. alike, bro, nah. at all. And he has like low. I don't know. I don't think we look alike. I don't think we look alike. Like I look like my sister. I feel like you do look yeah, more like your sister. Yeah, but I don't think I look like him. But yeah, he says that people be telling him that that he, they didn't know he had a podcast. And he's <laughs> that's like, hilarious. No, he's like, no, that's not me. That's my brother. So yeah, man, shout out to Chicago for the support. Yeah, shout uh, out to Chicago. Chicago showing love, man. So yeah, I had it was it was her and another girl who stopped me as well. That's um, what's up. They thought that I was out there. The other girl thought I was doing a uh, thought I was out there doing like a collab or something. 
Oh, no, word, yeah. word, word. If there's anybody in Chicago, what's up? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, man, I had to mention that. I forgot to mention that. I like to mention those. Man, how do you not get stopped? Is Delaware that boring? Yes. God damn. <laughs> yes. Literally, bro. Literally. I tell people, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah. By the way, I got a podcast here. Yeah. Hey, take the car. Well, we went uh, to OC. They, uh, the guy, they resp- he said, respect you what you was doing and everything. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, when we went to OC the other day. But, yeah, outside of that, man, no. Like, out here in Delaware, man, <laughs> no, nothing, dog. I mean, but then again, I don't I don't be out and about yeah. as much. Like, I'll probably go to the store when I need to get something. Or uh, if I want to want to go shopping, we just go shopping, mm-hmm. get what we need, and we, we back home. Yeah. So, I'm not, I'm not really out and about like that anymore. Mm-hmm. Um but yeah, I really haven't really had it. You're getting all the all the good uh, experiences, but you yeah, know who knows? Crazy. Maybe maybe you know because I have uh, a trip planned here soon. Mm-hmm. Maybe I, somebody runs into me, or I run into somebody. Hell yeah, facts. Nah, it's dope though. And and like uh, I don't know if you've seen like everybody finds this man so funny. I don't know why. <laughs> Who, me? Yeah, they said you unintentionally funny. And then a lot of Dude, people... Dude, my personality. Like they that I've, I've been slacking on a Michael moment. Shout out to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yo, it's, it's, no, no, we don't need to bring them back, yo. It's been like <laughs> two Kaidi, seasons. Your Kaidi, your Kaidi commented, she said she was talking about um, the Michael moment. So, yeah. So it went like her. almost a whole season. Damn, this is like She's one, and then a lot of people be telling me that they they be like watching. Remember I used to tell you they be watching? Be like, oh, that's a Michael moment. You forgot it. So, yeah, we're going to bring them <laughs> back. If, I, if he slips up, I'm, I'm catching him, guys. But uh, I had a, a It's not really a quote I was gonna do something Different before yeah. we started I seen something And I really liked it It's kinda like a, a a little small message Or whatever Quick for anybody You know to Uplift you Um, It's literally short It's like yeah, It ahead. says Just being you Is the flex Just being you Is the flex Preach yeah, Preach to so that Preach to that I feel like you gotta Embrace yourself and, and, you know, value yourself, you know, like, I feel like you should put yourself in front of everything, you know what I'm saying? Because when you get to that level, then you realize that you are, like, it's, you know, you're a flex, it's, yeah. it's good to be you, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, you you know, uh, sometimes people embrace you or, like, you, you know, people like to be around you and sometimes you don't really realize why, but it's because you are, a, you know, a good person and stuff like that, and the only way you can see that is embracing yourself behind closed doors and, and you know, working on yourself as well. But right. uh, don't depend, like we said in the past, don't depend on other people for your happiness and stuff like that. So I definitely think once you realize that you are the flex, then the world is yours. Yeah, one thing that I have uh, that I will add to that is, uh, and I, I realized this probably like a couple of years ago, is, you know, it may not feel like you're doing something or accomplishing something, but you just remember that somebody has it worse than you. Mm-hmm. So whatever, wherever, whatever stage you are in your life, you know, feel proud of where you are in life because it could be a, a lot worse. And, you know, God always has a plan for you. Facts. Simple as that. Facts. So, yeah, that's the quick little. It's, a, it's not it's really a quote. It's just a yeah. message that I little seen message. that I like. So you're just being you as the flex. Remember that. I really like. I really like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So let, let's get into the episode. Like, like we said, it's gonna be a little interview style. Um, you know, we have some questions written down. Uh, we're gonna be asking those questions, going more in details about them. And um, yeah, we really hope you guys enjoy. Uh, if there's anything else that you want to know, let us know. Maybe we will do a Q and A here in the future. Well, we haven't done a Q and A this season. We got. To. Oh yeah, we got to. We got to. So yeah, yeah. Leave down some questions that you guys want us to uh, answer either on the comment section below. If you're listening, can you can they leave comments when they listen? And uh, if you're listening, leave a review with the questions mm-hmm. that you want us to answer. And uh, if you follow us on social media, you DM us the question. Uh, yeah, simple as that. Right. So, yeah, let's get started. Uh, do you want to start? Do you want me to start? Do we want to flip a coin? Do you want to ask Siri? Do you nah, want to ask? You good? Just, just uh, you messages. could you could start, but like, uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna yeah, we we just gonna go with the flow. But don't and go see. on the same line that they're in. Just find figure, you know. Right? Saying? Yeah, yeah. But um, uh, but yeah, I'll start with you. Oh, me start. Yeah, that's, that's the first question. <laughs> uh, Gosh. let's see here. Okay, Michael, 
formerly known as Mr. Golden, to the the OG, you know, the Vibras listeners. Yeah, you guys know now. <laughs> you need to find me a new nickname, yo. <laughs> yeah, because Michael Carrasco is Yeah, it's it, too bro. long. You and put your full government out there, man. Yo, I can't be doing that. Well, at least they don't know my middle name, so we're good. We're good. <laughs> I don't even think I know your middle name. Yeah, good. <laughs> I don't tell a lot of people right, my man, middle but name. let me go search for this joint. Now, you look like a Felipe, bro. Michael nah, Felipe. nah, yeah, nah. Yeah, what do you guys think his middle name is? Yeah, Let us that. know in the comments. But uh, first question: Why a podcast? Man, why a podcast? Uh, I mean, I had a po- I, I had a podcast before this. Uh, it was kind of like a one man show. Then occasionally, one of my good friends, Jordan, uh, Jordan Ray, because I have two good friends named Jordan. <laughs> uh, Jordan Ray, we we, used, we he will help on it sometimes, and we used. Just talk. Uh, it was more business uh, related uh, and motivational, and we kind of stopped that. And I don't know where. I always had the idea of you know some sometime down the line I want to start a po- start another podcast. And it just happened that you hit me up one day randomly, and you know it was like yo, I've been thinking about starting a podcast, and I was like yo same, mm-hmm. and it kind of like evolved into this. Pretty much. Here we are three seasons later. Facts. Facts. Yeah. How, how how about you? I would say, because I know you hit me up with the idea, but I would say, what really motivated you to, to start a podcast? Um, It's crazy because this was before, like, the trend. Because now it's just trending a lot. Everybody mm-hmm. just starts a podcast now. Like, right. anybody and everybody. <laughs> right. uh, but uh, it was before the trend. I think it was towards the. Damn, it was before. I think it was before I even transferred to SU. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's, like, remember, mm-hmm. I was talking about it in that one episode that when the uh, when I was in college for football, that um, I had posted, you know, the Vibras in my caption, and I, I was telling the whole thing about mm-hmm. how we um, how it crazily just happened. But yeah, so I think it was in 2019 spring. I was talking to a couple people from a Dominican group chat. Uh, right. Shout out to you guys, um, and we we bro, we would talk for hours and like it would just be funny like and mm-hmm. every time people would want to laugh they would call us or whatever like you know what i'm saying it was just right. like i felt like i had that charisma to talk to people and that charisma to also give advice uh um so yeah so a lot of people always tell me like damn i really like you know when they ever need to talk to someone they'll call me or whatever i'm like damn there's something that i'm doing right you know what i'm saying while talking um so i'm like what, what can i do to make this a thing so I was I was seeing podcasts, you know, becoming a thing like because uh, Clubhouse was was trending, Twitter Spaces was trending, and I would host some and and they would go they would do good and people would like have a great time. Be like, oh, when you guys gonna do another uh, space? When you guys gonna do? I'm like, right. so I got the attention. So I'm like, I'm doing something right. So uh, I remember, so I was gonna do it with with those people from the Dominican group chat, but we couldn't do it because we all lived all over the place, North mm-hmm. Carolina, Philly. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be inconvenient unless we all just did it virtually. But I feel like the vibes don't have been the same. Right. Uh, so then <clears throat> I was supposed to do it with Matt. I don't know if you know that. I was supposed mm. to do it with Matt. Uh, shout out to Matt. Booby Matt. <laughs> yeah, my man, my man. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I was supposed to do it with Matt. Mm-hmm. And we literally was, was closing on, like, starting everything. We was getting everything set up, having everything ready. And... um. I don't know what happened. I think we just couldn't find a space or something, or or things just didn't. Uh, didn't. These didn't. Uh, fall. Align. Yeah, yeah, align. Um, no, nothing, nothing personal, nothing. You know what I'm saying? We mm-hmm. just, it just wasn't. Yeah. It just didn't work. And but me and him would talk all the time. We have a great conversation, quality conversations. I thought it would have been perfect. Um, but I think that same night when we when we, I was talking to him, and uh, he told me that. That we couldn't find a space or anything that we was gonna have to keep looking or something. But he just I don't know, it just got to a point where it was just like we both gonna come to an agreement that we probably just not gonna do it. And then that's when I think I don't know what happened, but I think you had called me. I don't know why. Yeah, it was it was like something random, like yeah. out of the blue. We like yeah. and um we were just talking and then I'm like I still wanted to do it and I brought it up. And then that's when it all became a thing. I think I was still in college. Yeah, I was still in college. Yeah, you were you were yeah. finishing up. Yeah. Uh, and you know what was the crazy thing? Like, we literally, you know, said we were going to do it. And I think, like, 
that same night we mm -hmm. started looking at mics mm -hmm. uh stands everything that we needed yeah. and like we were up and running in like a week mm -hmm. a week uh and that that <laughs> that that would lead to nah, and it's crazy because we had posted something and uh <laughs> people were like what are y'all do what are you gonna do what are you gonna do like they're asking we're like, like yeah. Yeah, no, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever it comes, people off guard. and we got a lot of support though, and we did announce it though. So that's good. yeah, that's good. yeah, super good, super good. And you know that that would lead to to uh, my next question is, what was your biggest fear starting the podcast? If if you had any, yeah. So I I told you in the past I, we mentioned some of these things might sound repetitive, but mm -hmm. to some people it might sound new, and that's the point of it. Uh, since we've been here three seasons, we're gonna have new listeners, and some of you guys don't know this, but I said one of my biggest fear, if not my biggest fear, was um, cause it was a long time since I, cause when I went to college, I didn't talk to you like that like for a while. Yeah, like we we would like talk here and there, but uh, we weren't as close as we were like when we were younger. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. So my biggest fear was that I didn't think that we were gonna like mesh or the vibes i don't know how the vibes were gonna be and i'm a person like i, I don't like to uh i don't like to fake the vibe you know what yeah I mean? like be all 100%. happy like oh yeah like laughing and i'm mm -hmm. not really ha like laughing or whatever so i was just worried about that but everything was good that was yeah. the only fear i'd say and not then the that. fear of uh consistency as well because mm -hmm. There's only so much things that you can talk about until you feel like you're overlapping yourself, you know what I mean? And right. then, uh, or sounding like another podcast, so. Right, right, That's right. the only problem, was the fear of, not really the fear, but it was just more so, like. Kind of, like, nervous, it's like, oh, I don't know how this is going to go. Well, because I've never done it, like, just preparing yeah. content and preparing mm -hmm. topics was my other fear. Like, right. feeling I was going to run out of content one day or whatever. Yeah. Right, right. I mean, I I, I get that you, part. Yeah. I mean, for me, I would say, uh, I mean, it wasn't it it wasn't like more anything towards the like podcast or anything. It was more of a personal thing. It was more like how uh, because see, if you guys know me, like know me, you guys know that I'm not I'm not super out there. Mm -hmm. Like I post probably something every. <laughs> every three months on social media which is something i want to change but you know i always had the fear of you know how people are going to react to to what i'm doing and stuff like that i feel that was what kind of held me back with the previous podcast just having that fear of you know or worry about how people that know me people uh, around me or random people will react to what i'm doing whether you know because i I always thought people would think negative or something like that, but that's not the case. As you guys can see, we're still going strong. And, yeah, that fear long put behind me. And, yeah, and I feel like it has, it has pushed me to do different things, like, you know, with the videos and stuff like that, uh, which I want to be doing more consistent mm. and stuff like that. Word. I, I feel you, man. Like, yeah. I just feel like that, that, that uh, those fears are, are things that are natural. Mm -hmm. And um, eventually you get over them once you see that it wasn't really a fear. It was just more so a, like slight worry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but next question. Um, what's your favorite thing about podcasting? Favorite thing? I would say just the conversations, man. Um, just being able to talk about uh, random things and, and <laughs> have it somewhat make sense, if you know yeah. what I mean. <laughs> and and just learning about different things because there's topics that we talk about and we do re our research. And that's one thing that uh, I like about podcasting. And the other thing is just the connection with the people. You know, just having people week to week, you know, saying, oh, I learned something today from you guys' podcast. Uh, or people are just, you know, supporting us uh, or the support that we get from people. I would say that that's like, the biggest thing that the thing that I, I like the most right mine would be having a platform to to express yourself on mm -hmm. um you know just having the ability to talk about what you want to talk about like you know when there's news or things that occur or debates right and you you just sit home and you're like now nah, i wish somebody were here my point of view on this so Facts. with the podcast you, you know you can do that um to an extent though you know you know we sometimes your point of view could be you know a bit biased yeah 
Um, but uh, yeah, that's one of my favorite things about podcasting. And also, like you said, reaching the people, um, you know, having people from all over the world, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Commenting, liking, uh, supporting, you know, sometimes they're against what we say on, on the <laughs> on social yeah. media. Um, <laughs> but that's the beauty of it, man. That's the beauty of it. Uh, we we always said that. We said we never really got like negative comments or anything. We don't, yeah. But recently, man, they've been killing us, man, <laughs> on, on social media. Not not like how, how to explain it. it. I understand sometimes where people come from because the short you only get a, 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 like a split a, second, a, yeah, well, a split like second a portion, or, or a handful, a portion of the episode, mm-hmm. and um. It's it's been happening a lot with the Dominican, uh, the Dominican episodes, cause a lot of these these countries thinks, or a lot of these people from other countries think that we uh, want to put DR as like superior to every. I mean, in our opinion, I'd say it is because I mean, it's the, it's the motherland. It's the motherland, but uh, they don't. I don't feel like they don't understand that it's a Dominican episode, like a Dominican based episode. Yes. So when they hear these things that we talk about, oh, that in DR we do this or mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? They're like, oh, but we do that too. But they don't know that in the episode we do mention those from any other countries, if you feel the same or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh we like we you know we always acknowledge that. Oh uh, yeah, hundred percent. But like 100%. I said in the shorts they they don't realize that they just see the short and they see that we just talking about DR does this, this, this and this and maybe they relate but they, they don't, don't know, know that yeah. we that we put it out right. there, yeah. But yeah, so <laughs> so that's the thing. But it, it's good though, cause like I said, we never. What's that one thing they say? Oh, uh, oh, uh, uh, all publicity is yeah, good publicity. Good publicity. But um, good thing is we we not getting like bad reviews because we doing something or or affecting or or talking down on any other people. It's just because. People are just misinterpreting, I guess, what we've right. been doing. <laughs> right. But, uh, but yeah, man, shout out to all the countries that do support us, though, man. We appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, you know, comment comment down your country or, you know, just, just put an emoji of your flag yeah. on the comment section. Same thing if you're listening in the reviews. Uh, but uh, what's one thing that uh, you say drives you to keep podcasting? Uh uh one and like i don't know i'm just hungry for uh growth like when i see when i see like more followers and stuff like you know what i'm saying it's like when we post something i see more followers new likes or whatever it's like we're doing something right you know because people keep coming to the content um so yeah i'd say that's that's uh what it would be that keeps driving me is, is you know seeing the the um the success i'd the say growth, yeah. the growth um and one and more mm-hmm. yeah I agree. For me, I would say it's uh, is the the reach that we've been getting. You know, the fact that we can connect and <laughs> I know we were talking about Germany the other day. Mm-hmm. Like Germany, like, we don't know anybody in Germany. Yeah. The fact that we are reaching to countries, you know, like Germany, Brazil, uh, the UK, yeah, Netherlands, Greece, so we Greece, had a Greece on there, yeah, uh, Pakistan, all all those countries, just knowing that we are slowly growing and expanding and slowly building a global uh audience that just every day is like damn man yeah. like you see we see the potential and we see and that's and that that's just like and that's just off of like us talking like mm-hmm. imagine like when god willing whenever we get to the ability or the opportunity i'd say to interview you know people that's when things are going to yeah. be, you know, the ball's going to start rolling more. So, like we said, it's not that we don't want to just, we don't know who to interview or, like, or people right. who try. It's just, like, it's just, it doesn't happen. I don't know. Right. Yeah. I mean, we, we, we're trying to get get some uh, things in the works. That way we, we can bring you guys uh, a face that you probably know or a face that um, we think you guys will really appreciate yeah. and hearing from. Right, so that leads to the next question. Then, what's your dream interview or collab? Dream interview or collab? Uh, man, I would say I would love to collab with like Logan Paul and uh, his, hey, his yeah. podcast. Man, I feel yeah. like that would be that would be a good uh, a good interview. They, I think or, they would do it because they don't they live in Puerto Rico or something, so they kind of uh, they're all over the place. I don't know where they are. One one day they they in Puerto Rico, next thing you know they're back in California. I don't hmm. know. They're, they're somewhere. Uh, but I feel like, uh, I don't know, I think they're in Miami now. Mm. Something like that. But I feel like that would be uh, a interesting um, 
collab, you know, just do podcasts and and I feel like we will get learn a lot from them. Facts. Because they have whatever you know, whether you guys agree with it or not, they have like one of the top podcasts. Mm -hmm. Like they they averaging what like one two million views. There's a lot of top episode. podcasts are doing good. Shout out to them, yeah. like the Nelk Boys, the Nelk Boys, uh, well the Full Sign Podcast. Mm -hmm. Sorry, um, and then Million Dollars Worth of Game. They mm -hmm. tough, yeah, super tough. Um, Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan, of course. Joe uh, Rogan is the OG of the yeah, podcast. Yeah, he really right. is OG. He's like, Gary man. Gary V, too. Gary, Gary v. v. Yeah, Gary V. So I feel like that would be a good collab. And, uh, um, you know, you're taking it back home with Alofoque. Ooh. <laughs> doing a, doing a, you know, the getting day, an interview day, or interviewing Alofoque. The day we get there, I mean, that's going to be something that really, like, opens my mm -hmm. eyes. You're like, wow. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> One day, man. One day. Yeah. One day. Um, mines would be. Uh, I don't know, man. Like I, I like. I'm real. Like uh, like I said, I'm I'm real big on the Dominican stuff. So, mm -hmm. um, I would love one day to interview uh, Phantom. Phantom. He's like oh the, yeah. The, he's like the top Dominican content creator here mm -hmm. in the United States. And uh, I just feel like like I we, we I've been dropping some uh, some tweets on and having people retweet it and trying to get to him. But I don't know. Phantom doesn't really interview. He did. He just did one recently. We uh, no jumper. Oh, this is first for interview, real? I think yeah. Oh man. I'm like, damn, Phantom, you gotta help tu gente de dominicana. So guys, whoever knows Phantom, and if you listen to this, cut this part and send it to him. Phantom, you know the baby that wants to interview you. It's right for the Dominican community. It's only right for la gente. We drive to you. Where are you we'll at? We drive to you, or we could do a virtual, bro, or we'll fly to you. What's Shit. the word? We Let can meet in the arch. <laughs> Where we want to go? You gotta, you gotta, you know what I'm saying? You gotta do it for the culture. The people be wanting it. Some people be asking me, like, yo, y'all should do something with Phantom, because we, it's Dominican. Like, we, the Domin I feel mm -hmm. like we, it's a handful of Dominican podcasts in the United States. And yeah, we, it's we only half. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Gracias a Dios, so. Yeah, in we the want Dominican them. community. Yeah, for and I, I feel like outside of us, we probably know like one more, like a couple personally, more. Yeah, personally a couple know more. a couple yeah, more. Yeah, but like I'd say we're the one that like put the culture out there more. That make like mm -hmm. actually have Dominican based things. Mm -hmm. Um, but apart from Phantom, um, like you said, I like to collab with a lot of those, uh, you know, big time uh, podcasting. Um, you know, podcasters, sorry, or you know, some of the up and coming ones as well, because. That's what it's all about, helping each other yeah. out. You know what I mean? And, and we've always tend to uh, try to collab with people that we, you know, you know, meet through podcasting. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, yeah, just names, like I said, names for of, of interview would be like Phantom or, you know, Alofoque, somebody like that. True, like, bro. That would be a huge <laughs> It interview. had to be in, in Spanish, though. Um, yeah, with the subtitles. Anybody, man. Honestly, I'd want to interview anybody, anybody that, ha yeah. that has a... Uh, that has like uh, what's the word? Has a message to share to people, and that people, you know, would be feel moved or, or you know, um, motivated from listening to an interview from whoever it is. But uh, yeah, that's mm -hmm. that's how I feel. But Phantom is the one that is, you know, what I'm saying on my eyes right now. Right, right. Now that's that will be a good inter interview. Facts. But yeah, you know, if you guys want to call up, let us know. Let us know. Right. Uh, we have a, our our business email that you can reach out to us. Yeah, let us know. Uh, same thing if you want to, you know, sponsor us. <laughs> yeah, we'll take that too. Nice. <laughs> All right. So, what would you say is one thing that you can, as a podcaster, improve on? Hmm. One thing I can improve on. Or like either yourself or us as a, as a you know, as a team together. Damn. I don't know, man. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like, uh, dang, I don't know, bro. One thing that I say we can improve on as, in the whole would be probably, uh, having, how can I say this? Uh, having a bulk of like topics, you know what I'm saying? Already. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Instead of just like doing it on the fly. Yeah. Cause we do everything on the fly. If you don't know, <clears throat> not yeah. Know. But yeah, yes, I don't know, being more prepared, I guess. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. Uh, so let, let me uh, kind of uh, narrate what us uh, recording an episode usually goes by. So about around 12, 1230, any, any time between that time frame or whenever 
he decides <laughs> we decide to to meet up uh it's always on tuesdays uh he tests me we're like yo i'm here i go open the door we come up to the little recording room uh we put on some d i don't know whatever music we want to listen mm -hmm. to then we're like yo we just literally sit like this yo what are we going to talk about today <laughs> and um I feel like it, it's it kind it has worked for us, but you know, like you said, we we talked about it before. We want to get in the in in the habit where we can you know have two or three episodes uh, planned out, and and just you know you just ready whenever we come in. All right, let's go. We're going we're going to do it. And let's say if we have time, we can make another one. Stuff like that. You just kind of like be more prepared. Um, I know we were talking about it on the season finale for season two. Mm -hmm. um, we want to be able to have like a backup video just in case uh, something happens. Like, you know, we had a couple of things happen last last season. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that I would say that same thing, just being more prepared. And uh, apart from that, I feel like we've been doing pretty great. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think no, you, hit, really you, hit on, you hit the uh, nail on the head, man. Yeah. You hit it. yeah, nah, facts And like I said, something like many may not know Apart from that, what you were saying uh, The first season at least We, that was crazy I don't that know was, how we did oh it my God, We was doing bro. like two episodes a day And then like We just memorized everything Like, Yo. like we didn't have no phone No nothing Like, the, like we didn't have these yeah. Like I have my iPad But our iPad was literally used to uh, Because the camera that we have it's too far, so I can't get it. But it's a Canon M50, and you can. Uh, we had. Uh, use uh, a wire. You can wirelessly connect it to like a, a smartphone, yeah. tablet, and that's what's our monitor. That's how we we make sure that we look good. Uh, and yeah, yeah. Apart from that, everything was like memorized the quotes. I mean, we started with the quotes, yeah, you know, cool. having it on our phones. But yeah, man, that first season it was crazy. Yeah, facts. So yeah, that that was something that I feel like a lot of people didn't know. And then someone had pointed it out. They're like, "Man, you guys should get like a board or something and, mm -hmm. and put points on there." And with basically what we do now, we just have the talking points and go from there. It's not like yeah. we're reading a script or anything. Uh, but uh, but yeah. So asking. So yeah, since you said that, I like to you know switch it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Is there any rituals you have before podcasting? <laughs> Pre-game rituals, man. Uh, me. I mean, I always uh have to use the bathroom. Number one, not not number two. But yeah, yeah. For for me, is uh, I usually go get get something to drink. Um, if the girlfriend's home, I will just go give her a catch real quick and then come back. That's it. I feel like that's it for me. Word. How about you? Uh, I wouldn't. I mean, I guess the ritual. I don't know. I just yeah, you gotta like, say it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know, man. I just like the. Hopefully, I just try to make myself look good before I record. So, yeah, I have a I have an infamous brush here, man. The infamous brush. You've man. been with me for some long time. A long time, actually. Still, the bristle or whatever is still pretty solid. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm yeah. not gonna get rid of it until it. It just I don't know. Nah, I, nah, I, nah. This is what we're gonna do. Once uh once you oh, get it, sell this. or auction it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Once you get a new one, we're going, we're going, we're going to auction that yeah. infamous. So when I don't one. have this thing, I feel like I lose a part of my uh of my life. It's crazy, man. I st I think so. I've had this. Let me see. When I when I had waves back in the day, I think it was like two thousand. It was like nineteen. Not eighteen. No, no, eighteen. Yeah. So yeah, two thousand eighteen, man. And I, it's still going strong, and I need it every day. Literally, before I go into work, before anything, I have to brush my, my sides, my back, you know, my baby hairs, get them straight. And, yeah, when I'm not with this, man, I feel like I'm I'm, I'm lost, man. Yeah, yeah, you spotted me, man. It's part of you. I you. lost it, and it was bad. Baby. Yeah, man, you just, this man was, I wouldn't say struggling, but he was stressing. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. But, yeah, that's my only ritual right now. I need to, that's my brush that I have to use before recording. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, last you know, just for time, uh, time purposes. Uh, let's go one more. Uh, what's one thing you hope to accomplish with a podcast? 
One thing I hope to accomplish with the podcast, I just hope to be like someone's go to, uh, you know, video or someone's go to audio when they want to, you know, escape from, you know, anything mm-hmm. that can be going on in their life or they just want to, you know, have a good time or get entertained or motivated or anything. I just want to be like that source for some, you know, someone. Right. Uh, where, you know, not necessarily they depend on us, but where they are like loyally supporting where if we don't drop or something, they're like, they like feel like they're missing a part of their life. You know what I mean? Right. I just right. want to get to that point where people, I mean, we're there, but we, we, I don't know. It's not like, I just want like a bulk of people to feel that way. Cause that mm-hmm. makes me feel good. Like knowing that I'm out there, you know, doing something good for somebody through yeah. a something podcast. positive. Right. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I don't know, man, the future be a household name, man. That's my, that's my always been my dream. Yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, for me, is uh, just making connect- connection with more people. You right. know, uh, developing a platform where we can help other people get their message out. Uh, you know, help young young artists, upcoming artists. Um, yeah, that's that's what I want to accomplish. You know, mm-hmm. uh, also I want to do some charity work through the podcast if we are able to get to that point. That's uh, I feel that's top things that I want to accomplish with it. You know, of course, you know, becoming a, a household name, be well known. Uh, but more, more than that is, uh, like I said, creating a platform where people can grow, a uh, platform where we can help artists, uh, fashion designers, you know, other podcasts, mm-hmm. and, you know, give back to the community. Facts. Facts. Um, now, nah, my last one would be... Um What's your favorite memory or experience of podcasting so far, uh, three seasons in? Oh, I would say this. That's a that's a handful. That's a handful. Um, you can say whichever ones come to mind, man. Man, I know for sure. Um, the season finale that was a good. <laughs> that was, it was. All right, it wasn't the best video, but I just feel the. The whole environment, you know made it for me um yeah that's one of them uh the second one i would say you know well this could be combined second and third one you know just when we went to you know do the collab with Akeem Schilling and uh the collab with the never famous podcast you know that was uh i would say those are good memories i can't forget about my boy quest you know <laughs> uh <laughs> you know that call out that we did with him was like super on the fly but it turned out pretty good <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna, we gonna run it back we're yeah. gonna run it back it's good vibes with quest man we're it's always it a good vibe yeah shout out to twitter man like i said I, i've met so many people on twitter bro like mm-hmm. You don't, even, you don't even know. Networking. You don't even know, man. Twitter's good for networking. Like I'm telling you, bro. Every state I go to or whatever city, I've know someone from Twitter. It's crazy. <laughs> I, there was another uh, in Chicago. Someone else there that was from Twitter as well. But we had like fifty something mutuals, and I'm like, damn, Ooh, that's crazy. Yeah. On Twitter, I'm like, wow, like yeah, that's yeah. crazy. So Twitter is dope, man. But uh, my favorite memory or experience. Uh, I didn't think about this. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I like I like the collab um thing. I like collabing. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the collabs are, are good because you, you know you got like two groups mesh and um make one one uh one content or whatever uh, or mesh and make content. Sorry mm-hmm. for you know you guys, um and just seeing how other people work, um yeah. seeing how other people approach things, uh. Yeah, but that, that's dope. Cause I mean, I'd say most of them like when you when we went there, they were prepared, you know. Yeah. For so me, yeah, that's good. So now we know. So whenever we do have someone on, I mean, we prepared the one time we interviewed uh, Bubba. Uh, yeah. But I just like how the dynamic of everything, you know, flows so naturally in the collabs, mm-hmm. and the, the vibes were good. Um, everything was straight, and we hope to do more, man. We hope yeah, to 100%, do more. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Um, and you know that's my favorite experience. Well, I say memory would definitely be. Damn, I say <laughs> watching the first episode ever. Yeah. Or just like watching and remembering the whole episode. I was I yeah. wasn't say I was nervous. I was just like Worried. different. Yeah, it yeah, was different. Because I didn't know how it was gonna sound, I didn't know how it was gonna look. Uh 
But just going back and watching it and um, watching now, it's like, wow, mm-hmm. like growth. And people still watch that. <laughs> Yo, I was, yeah. I looked at it. I was like, damn, that, it's almost out of like, yeah, people, okay. Yeah, people still watching. I'm like, what? Why? <laughs> yeah. Like, people want to see the growth too or whatever. Yeah, so. I mean, if you guys just look back, you didn't even have to. Well, yeah. yes, of course, watch the videos. But if you look just the difference just on the thumbnail, yeah. bro. Yeah. On the thumbnail from like day one all the way to the last episode we dropped, man, crazy difference. Yeah. But yeah, I'd say that was my favorite memory, at least. Um, apart from all like the Dominican content, which has helped us grow mm-hmm. um, unexpectedly. Yeah, because that was so and like we didn't even. It just happened <laughs> out of nowhere, bro. Yeah, that, it, nah, so yeah, that's my favorite memory. My favorite memory was uh, that's another one. My favorite memory was when the t- the video blew up on TikTok. Yeah. But my phone was going insane, man. I just see this, and it's like every time you refresh, you see like the list of people going. Mm-hmm. I'm like, wow, like. That's crazy. And it was funny uh, because we were like, if I was on break, I was like, every five seconds, like, yo, the show is like a 25K. Bro, you just went to 30K. Yeah. Bro, we're like at 50K. <laughs> yeah, and that's crazy. Now it's at like 150K, yeah. Yeah. But I, I, I was like, I was shocked when they got to 10K because TikTok, we was barely getting 100 mm-hmm. views. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that is once we got into Dominican algorithm or TikTok algorithm, however you want to call it. It just been success after that. Well, on TikTok and Instagram has always been showing us love. There's always it falls into oh, yeah. the algorithm. But you know, once you see you get a like from somebody that doesn't follow you, you know you're doing something right. Right. <laughs> yep. Uh, but yeah, man, those are my favorite memories. Just understanding the whole process of like the promotion thing. Mm-hmm. You know, getting the content out there. You know, playing with the time, uh, and stuff like that. Yeah. 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 Good. Hundred percent. But uh, yeah, this is the end, man. Um. We yeah. were, you know, trying to get you guys to get to know us a little better. You know, our our motives with the podcast mm-hmm. itself. Um, you may or, you it. may or may not have us repeat ourselves uh, when we ever go collab or interview with someone else. But this is just, you know, a preview to that. How about that? Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. On top of that, you know, any last words? Yeah, any my last words would be: Don't cancel me in New York. Um, <laughs> <laughs> It's just how I felt, man. I don't know how to explain it. Until you right. just go, all right, my New Yorkers, go to Chicago and you're going to see what I mean. That's all and I then come say. back. And you don't see no yellow taxis out there. Like, yeah, it's a big, it's such a big city and you don't see none of that. That's what I'm saying. It's like Cotizao, bro. Like, and why everybody driving? Black everybody SUVs? Everybody drives. <laughs> everybody drives. Yeah, Dang. that's it'd probably be the thing. There's it's probably, more of a drivable city, it's right? It's drivable. It's very gosh, drivable. Gosh, you gosh. It's you. very drivable. And walkable. Everything is, as, oh. uh, yeah. Right, and the good thing bad. is, like, a lot of the, the dope restaurants and stuff, like, how to, how to explain it? Like, you don't have to wait. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can walk Here's in. Yeah, like, that's, that's dope. I like the vibes. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah, shout don't out cancel to Chicago. Me in New York. Uh, shout out to New York. Um, if we ever need to go back there, we will no, be we'll there. We'll be there. We'll be there. <laughs> like, we got a lot of listeners from New York. I know, but my phone is probably blowing up. <laughs> yeah, damn right it is. <laughs> yeah. I but, didn't go, so I, I have no opinion. So you, you, bro, you, nah, that one time you was bashing Philly and nobody said nothing to you. Bro. I mean, yeah, that's true. That's true. I mean, it's, I'm not even gonna get into it. I'm not even gonna get into it. No, my last word is just that. Don't cancel Wanda Don in New York City. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, man, just just keep supporting us. We appreciate it. Keep mm-hmm. sharing the content. Keep liking everything. Just know that a simple like. Can take goes you know, a long way. you know, it goes a long way. As, as, as much as you don't, you know, want to believe it, it's mm-hmm. it's true. A like and a like and a share. But if you just can like it, like the video, yeah. they appreciate it. Hundred percent, hundred percent. On social media. So thank you guys uh, for tuning in. Any last words for you? I mean, uh, uh, on top of what you said, you know, uh, thank you for the support, and you know, go go out there, be great. If you want to do something, just do it. Uh, yeah. That's about it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys, if my energy is off. I'm just super tired, man. I just flew in yesterday, and uh, yeah, Chicago is like behind an hour, and I'm just I'm thrown off right now. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. yeah. I'm just I'm crazy, man. I don't know. My my vibe is just. I know it's off, but it's all good, man. We just you know still gotta. Then I'm on compromise, so we have a uh, how you say compromise? compromise. Is, that, is that a compromise? You sure? Yeah, compromise. We have a compromise. That's yeah, we're like compromise or like uh, I have to sell the word for it. Um, 
Yeah, you can say that. Just know we have something. We have a know. set schedule. Yeah, I we have a set schedule that. with the with the podcast. So no matter the situation, God willing, we will always we'll be make it happen. And make it happen. So thank you guys for tuning in. Comment uh, what you guys feel about this uh, episode. Comment mm-hmm. any questions you have. If you want us to have a Q and A here in the future, also comment any guys or any interviews or collabs that you would like to see us with, and we will reach out to those individuals. Mm-hmm. Or if you know somebody. Yeah. Uh, let them know that you know the baby that is open to a collab um, with them. Pretty We're not sure. charging nobody. For oh, no, that, no, if that's no, what you no. guys are thinking. Okay. No. So thank you guys for all the love and support. Remember to like, comment, and as always, subscribe and let's vibe. Peace. Money pass. See you guys. <laughs>